Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power of Divine Universe, and I am here with what is moving towards you, who is moving towards you, what to expect in your life, what's going to come into your life, what is going to, you know, bless you, what is going to help you on your journey, what is coming towards you that you, you don't see coming. It, before I get started, I ask if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. Just I also want to um, make sure that you remember that not every reading is going to um, coincide with what you're going through. It's not going to resonate with you. Um, some people, I noticed that a couple people clicked off of subscribe off of my channel, which is fine. I cannot reach every single person out there. I'm reaching the people that definitely have gone through experiences like mine, have gone through experiences that have been difficult. Um, and it's, and it's due to the people that we've had in our lives. Um, I'm trying to awaken people to spirituality because it definitely needs to come out and a lot more people people need to focus more on themselves with self-love self-respect and i'm really trying to get this world to see how important unconditional love is for ourselves and each and every individual that we come into contact with i also am a very gifted psychic so i do see things i am really powerful um and so i do bring out some negative readings or I have recently a lot because that is what I am being told to do and that's what I am um, channeling and that's where I'm connecting to the divine all my messages come straight and from the divine universe so this might not be your channel I don't know but I hope that I am reaching people I hope that you are resonating with the messages I am um, giving and know that they are coming from the divine with that being said let's get started Perfection. You have perfection coming into your life. With that, we all know that life isn't perfect. I mean, don't we wish that, you know, every little... I don't know if we'd even wish that. I'm sure there's areas of our lives that we would like to have perfection. But either a person looks at you as perfection, kind of like this fruit, they would like to eat you. You were so perfect to them. Or you have perfection coming into your life, meaning that... Things are going to start going your way. You're really going to start progressing in life. You're really going to move forward towards financial stability, unconditional love, towards perfection. We have fighting. You might have to put this armor on. Or, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to be able to stop having to wear this armor around people. You're not going to have to fight for to be heard. You're not going to have to fight to be seen. You're not going to have to fight against room, rumors, lies, gossip, deception. You're not going to have to put your fists up towards other people and fight a battle. Again, there's no winners or losers in any situation. What we put out into the world is what we create in our karma. So if you've been at battle with someone, you have put the fist down. You have walked away. You're taking that armor off. And you're really moving towards success, towards perfection. Because you're no longer fighting a battle that no one's going to win or lose in. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have financial stability, family stability. You have a property and an inheritance, inheritance excuse me, coming straight towards you. You don't have to fight for whatever somebody's taken from you because the universe has given it right back to you because that's your good karma. So people can continue to fight all they want. But all they're doing is fighting against themselves because you no longer are fighting. And because of that, this is what you have coming towards you. Perfection. Uh, putting your, the armor down and being...
being financially st stable, financially secure, not having to worry about anything when it comes to finances. And that's been a long time coming. Nurture. This is you, even if you're a male. You are that ball of light. You are the nurturer. You are going to nurture yourself. The universe. And people that deserve to be nurtured by you. You might even have somebody coming in to nurture you. Because you've never been nurtured before. Or if you have, it's never been in a genuine way. Mistakes. Allow me to know it's okay to make a mistake. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. Your mistakes are going to be released. You're going to forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made. Forgive yourself for what people punish you for each and every day, even though they're making the same mistakes, if not worse. You are releasing the mistakes, the guilt that you have felt for many years because of them. And you're really going to nurture yourself. Chiron, healing. So healing. Pure healing. Healing powers. Growth. Amends. Release. Personal development. Inherited issues. Self-doubt. Generational trauma. Shame. Sensitivity. Forgiveness. Superpowers. Divinity. Cleansing, softness, and pain. Sign of Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. You could be healing with those signs, but you're healing all the things listed, and you're gaining them also. We have the fifth house, passion. So passion's coming towards you. Performance, entertainment. Maybe you're going to be a superstar. Maybe you perform. Maybe you are someone that's in the the limelight of people that people watch. Maybe you are going to really step into your power this way. We have costumes, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, and disco ball. This is a sign of Taurus and Libra. So a Taurus and Libra could be moving towards you. Heartache and loss. you face faced this for a very long time. And you're still facing it because when we lose something that we love very much, it creates a lot of heartache and, it, and we then grieve the loss that we no longer have. You've had this for a very long time in your life. Either you created it with mistakes or other people created it with their mistakes, but you're going to be able to release that heartache and loss and really move on. To really heal yourself 1,000%. And I'm saying 1,000% because the universe is helping you heal all the heartache and loss that you've ever had in your life. Prince of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swift movement. Chaotic. Quick-minded. Serious young man. So this prince could be coming in to make amends with you. Um, come towards you with an offer of love. If you look at this prince, look at all the battle wounds this prince has on him. This could represent you, but I don't think so. I think it's somebody that's coming in after probably doing something wrong to you. And this is their karma that they're receiving for doing something bad. This prince realizes that you were their gift from God. Even if it's not in a romantic sense, this could be your children this could be, you know, family, you know, your brothers, your sisters. This could represent a stranger that's coming in with all these battle wounds that need you. Or this could represent what you look like, even if you're not a prince, even if you're not a male. These are all the battle wounds that everybody did. This is what you looked like after this battle. This is what you're healing from. This is the heartache and loss of what people have done to you. That's sad. That's heartbreaking. 
We have the two of bees in reverse. It's a two of swords in this um, deck. This is my the Victorian steampunk deck. <coughs> Excuse me. I will be reading the meanings out of this because I, I feel that they're important in my readings the last couple times. This card was in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Everyone had to stop due to stubbornness or even deception. And there is no clear reason why you should be in this position. Open your eyes to the truth and you may see the reason for the problem you face. Open your eyes to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Open your eyes to the truth of why this card's in reverse and why you're facing so many problems. Why you've had to fight so much in your life. Why you have so many fucking battle wounds from all these people hurting you. And why your life has been so full of heartache and loss. Gratitude. You're going to have so much to be grateful for in love, in friendships, in closeness, in financial stability, in healing from these battle wounds, from releasing yourself of any guilt from a mistake that you may have made in your life that has held you bound to the darkness. You're replacing it all with gratitude. Gratitude for each and everything that you have in your life already and each and everything that the universe is going to bless you with. <laughs> this card just came out in every reading. The outsider in reverse. This has been you since you were a child. Your family, your friends, the people that you worked with, co-workers, anyone and everyone that came into contact with you made you feel like this outsider, like you did not belong anywhere. You were always a person looking in, wanting to interact with people, wanting people to understanding, understand you, wanting people to love you for who you are, wanting a give and take relationship. You realize that this gate isn't locked. It's not because anyone is allowing you in. It's because you're fucking breaking free. You are now moving past these gates, past this, um, past these bars that have held you back for so long. You no longer are the outsider. You no longer are, even though you have been since you were a child. And that is just heartbreaking because you are a very special being. We all are. We all have a lot to offer this world and for anyone to ever make a child for one thing. That's disgusting. Feel like an outsider to even make a person feel like they are do not belong or no one wants them or no one loves them is the most unjust, unkind, horrible thing we could do to another human being. But you broke free. You walked right through that gate. And you know what? You're embracing the world with your fucking presence. And I'll tell you, everybody's noticing the star sign of Aquarius. You made a wish. You might have made fucking 30 wishes. And I'm telling you, the universe is granting you every one of those wishes. Every wish that you wanted plus some are coming straight towards you because you will appreciate them. You will show gratitude and you will mean it when you do express it. And you deserve it from being the outsider and from other people's bullshit that you've put up with and dealt with your entire life. Teach. You're a teacher. You're a spiritual teacher or you're going to be a spiritual teacher. You teach others about how to move through difficult times. How to hurdle those obstacles and challenges people put in your way. To really teach people that self-love, self-respect, unconditional love is really the answer to being a good person, to really having a happy, positive life, to really um, be able to associate, to connect with other people in a positive way. You are this teacher and people are learning from you. With that being said, you have a loyal friend that watches you and knows everything you say and is learning from everything you say, let alone all these people that are watching too. That's beautiful. 
work and speak of this. Wait till I read this and just think of what I just said in the last card. I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. Your work is to be a teacher and that's what you're doing. If you know it or not, you are a spiritual teacher. Your purpose here on this earth was to help other people. To wake up people to what is going on in the world. To what people can do to you. To the fact that we can be knocked down, shoved down, kicked down, stomped all over and still get up and still be a beautiful human being and bring love and light and unconditional love into this world still. Moon, fillings, cancer, instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditionings, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, self-soothing, moods, and mother. Sign of cancer, 100%. With this, the cancer is revealing all the secrets that have been hidden behind the moon. With all that, this cancer has all of these things I just said. And if they don't, they're about ready to receive it because they fucking deserve it. Foundations and achievement. So you are building a firm foundation again after people or something ripped your foundation apart after the tower hit. You are this beautiful rainbow in this card. You are going to have a happy family and a beautiful home to live in if you don't already. If you do already, then it's going to be firm and it's going to stand and withstand anything or anyone that tries to knock it down ever again. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, harmony after straying, long journey over water. So you are receiving harmony after whatever you have gone through in your life. Whatever pain, heartache, loss, you are finally going to have harmony after a very difficult journey. A journey that has brought you to where you are, shed the light on the people who are around you, Really shed the light on who you are, how strong you are, what you can accomplish, where you can go in life, how much you can grow, how much you can learn um, to get yourself out of this outsider feeling, to quit fighting, and to really allow yourself to achieve and get all the wishes that you desire. That's beautiful. Let alone it says long journey over water, so I have a feeling you're going to be taking a vacation. That's what I feel. Or maybe you're going to move. Who knows? But this is going to be a long journey. Maybe you're going to go somewhere where you've always wanted to go. Another country. Whatever it is. But you have a lot to look forward to. The next card I pulled is the Page of Dragonflies in Reverse. This is the Page of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I should say. Let me see here. Page of Cups represents, in reverse, the reverse page represents a superficial influence. Immaturity and problems with self-expression lead to frustration for those around this character. In relationship terms, the reverse page can show a lack of commitment. You're not going to accept this page. You want nothing but a king or the fucking emperor. So if somebody's coming at you with false emotions, with lies, with coming in trying to offer you a half-ass future, a half-ass relationship, a half-ass connection, you're going to see right through it. You're going to kick that person right to the curb. You're not going to put up with that shit. You've dealt with that shit. And you're not settling for anything less than a king or an emperor or an empress or a queen, period. Guilt. This isn't your guilt. This is the guilt of the people that have done you wrong. This is a guilt of people that have tried to rip your life apart out of jealousy, envy, out of pure ignorance, out of just stupidity, out of just being envious of maybe you having more 
or you having gifts or you having talents or you having a relationship with somebody that's strong and loving and kind with the ability to be able to rebuild your life after towers that people have created for stealing from you, for lying about you, for really making your life hell, I feel. These people are going to have to face their guilt. They're going to have to fess up to their guilt because they're receiving the karma and it's making them realize what they have done to you, how bad they were to you, how much pain and heartache and loss you have gone through in your life, but you have survived. And it really hasn't made you a mean person. It hasn't made you un conditionally loving it hasn't made you just shut out the world it actually made you grow in the opposite way it's made you more beautiful it's made you more loving it's made you more understanding it's made you grow and have wisdom and become this teacher that you are or you are becoming it's beautiful we have politics in reverse so you see that snake and the mask well the fucking mask is off isn't it and this snake, whoever this snake represents, everyone sees them for who they are. And this could be politicians that have worked against you, that have done corruption, that have done anything and everything to shut you up about what you were talking about, what you were going through. This could be people that are corrupt, that were paying people to um, deceive you, lie about you, cheat, thief from you, anything and everything. Their mask is off and you no longer have to deal with them. Even with this card in reverse, when it's in reverse, it's even worse than it is in the upright. These politicians are going down, baby, going down. I fucking politicians, oof. They are just, that's what I think and that's what I see when I think of politicians. I truly do. We need to change this world. We need to change how politicians have so much power because, you know what, they're the ones that deserve to be in prison, not half the people in prison. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Temporary hardship, guard against loss. I don't feel this is you. Again, I feel you are going to watch people have to go through what they put you through. You've already had this temporary hardship. You've already guarded against this loss for a very long time. And now... With the tables being turned, you're going to watch people going through this. They're going to know how you felt when you couldn't eat, when you had to sleep in your fucking car, or you had to sleep outside because you didn't have a car. They're going to have know how it feels to have their home taken away, to lose their job, to lose their honor, their respect, the way people look at them. Everything and anything that they did to you is causing this temporary hardship. And it's funny because they probably think that you're doing black magic or you're using some spells to do that. They're so stupid and so ignorant, they don't realize that it's their fucking karma. When we do something bad to somebody, when we wish them ill um, feelings, ill intentions, we wish harm on somebody, truly what you're doing, sure, it might affect that person, but you're, you're causing that for yourself. This, that person will come out of it. As long as that person's a good person and is doing what they're supposed to, learning the lessons they're supposed to be, they are connecting with the higher power. It is going to end up being reflected off them and put right back onto you. And you're going to get it not times seven, not times ten, but for the rest of your life. Share the love. You're going to be able to share the love with a lot of people. I feel that you already do share the love with a lot of people. But I think people are really going to look at you like they are so lucky to have you in their life. Like this person holding that heart, proud of it. They're going to be proud of who you are, the love you share, what you hand them in love. Each and every person that you come into contact, they are going to see that you are love and that you have been through a difficult time. And most people don't come out of what you've gone through. Chair or clarity, excuse me. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. You know that your intuition guides the way. You don't second guess your intuition. Your intuition tells you something, and you're like, yep, that's what I'm doing. Your in intuition tells you one day to wake up and move. That's what you do. I mean, you allow. 
clarity through your intuition. And I'm telling you, if you are a water sign, you and especially a cancer, you are the most intuitive sign in the zodiac. You do get more intuitive downloads, more intuitive information, and you know to follow your intuition because you were born with it. It's not something that you developed over time. Taurus, the bombshell. So Taurus is strong in this reading. Earthy, practical, steady, fast, productive, fertile, tackle, tactile. I can't say it. Ample, worthy, ripe, pleasure-seeking, sensuous, blooming, solid, possessive, loyal, patient, deliberate. Trapped in fear. Like I said, you're not the outsider anymore. You're no longer trapped in fear. Actually, the people that have done something to you, that have, like I said, stolen from you, lied about you, deceived you, um, singled you out, whatever they have done to you, are the people trapped in fear. They know that their karma is here. They know that they have to face it, and they know there's no way getting out. These people are literally praying to God to get them out of the fear that they are facing for doing something horrible to you. They're asking for forgiveness because they know that the higher power is giving them karma. They're worried about where they're going to end up when they die. Whatever your beliefs are. If it's heaven and hell. If it is being trapped and watching the people that you hurt. If it is having to re do this life and be in the position of the person that you trapped in fear, that you hurt, that you beat down, that you betrayed, that you abused, that's what it's going to be. And these people are trapped in fear, but you're not. You can sleep with the lights off. You could sleep with your doors unlocked now when before you couldn't sleep because you were too afraid of who would come harass you, who would come into your home. Are they going to come in and hurt me? Are they going to, you know, do something to... To get me in trouble, what are they going to, you know, whatever the circumstances are. You are trapped. You were trapped in fear, which bound you to the dark. You're not bound to the dark anymore. The people that cause that are bound to the dark. They are behind bars, the universal bars. Not court of law bars. And they could be, though. You know what? Some people might have got arrested, so they are sitting behind bars. Having to think about what the fuck they did to you. How they treated you. What they took from you. Um, what they said about you. So they might be sitting behind jail bars. Or it could be just the universal justice. The bars behind the universe. The law. Universal law. Whatever. It could, it could be both. They could be trapped behind bars. Jail cell bars. And with the universe. Which that's what I think is really going on here. And if they haven't been arrested yet. They're going to be. We have uh, King of Wands. Aries. Leo Sagittarius. This is an entrepreneurial, dynamic man who can be rush or rash, not rush, rash. Um, this could be you, but I think this stands for somebody that is really taking over, has, has really shed the light on what was going on. This is maybe a private investigator. This is somebody that is an entrepreneurial. So I don't think it's a police officer. If it is, it's a retired detective, something like that, that works for himself. This fire sign has blew the whistle on whatever was going on. This fire sign is what is or who is making things right for you. This fire sign is taking these politicians and taking them out. And it could be because this fire sign had guilt. Because this fire sign was involved at first. Or maybe they were hired to watch you to give information to someone else so they could do or use it in a harmful way. And what happened is this King of Wands saw the truth and realized that they were fucking you over. So this King of Wands, instead of him going back and giving them information, he was he was just bring you know, he was calculating he was watching everything that was going on and this person is actually bringing the truth out to free you from whatever was going on or this king of wands it could be in love with you this person might have been watching every move that you made watched what an amazing fucking person you are 
how beautiful or handsome and how you treat other people. Um, just, you know, how independent and kind and just giving you are. Just whatever. And this person fell in love with you. So this person might have started off as an enemy. And now this person wants to come towards you to offer you love. But before he does that, he's going to make everything right in your life. Along with the universe. I mean, don't get me wrong. The universe makes everything right in her life. But this person, I feel, is a person that has information that's going to help you prove if you need to prove anything. Um, help break you free if you need to be broken free. Or just to get the truth out of what has really been going on here. The last card I pulled is Eight of Beetles, which is Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it is revealing patience, hard work, and its rewards. This eight shows money coming to you and often shows the completion of an apprenticeship or other educational or professional course, leading to a fulfilling career or project. Value is also important now. Value yourself and the skills you offer. And that's exactly what I was saying self-love and self-respect with that being being said that is what i have for each and every one of you i hope it resonated with you again if it doesn't resonate with you i know i've been getting specific readings like strong um just look for another video wait for me to post another one uh just or think about your this a couple days because sometimes it doesn't resonate maybe this hasn't happened in your life yet you know maybe you have to come back and watch it all my readings are timeless uh, from when you watch it, definitely. Um, I feel that this these situations definitely happen within a couple days, up to a month, but no longer. But I really think the universe is really um, proud of you, and I, I want to really stress that because that's what I'm hearing, that you are being applauded from Source himself, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, and they want you to know that you are moving on the path and towards your life purpose and that you are doing a beautiful job no matter what anyone or anyone thinks. Peace.